doing too much. Yeah, I have to do it. Do it. I can't see. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. She's looking a little different today because as you read by the title, we are going through my New Year's resolutions and goals for 2022. And to start off, I am not somebody who normally does resolutions or goals because I never follow them. Never. But this year, we're going to try some new things. I have been in New York City for almost a year now and I absolutely love it here and it just kind of gives me that motivation, that drive to manifest some things that I really want in life and so we're going to do it. And I'm going to use this kind of video, YouTube diary, vlogging as a like thing to hold me accountable for everything that I want to do. So we can check back in six months and see if I'm still doing everything that is on this video. So I'm going to start out with cheeky YouTube goals. So basically my goal for 2022 is by the end of the year to get to the monetized level, which is having 4,000 watched hours and 1,000 subscribers. I am pretty far off of that right now, and I'm going to be kind of committing more to the YouTube and to maybe post more videos or kind of some other stuff. I'll get into it here in a minute. So one of the things that I want to do to help me get more monetized is I want to start by posting once a week. Now, most of the time this last couple months, I've been doing pretty good. Vlogmas is another story, but I, I do a pretty good job. I think I do a pretty good job getting those videos out once a week. Now, I've been thinking about maybe doing two videos a week. So the first video, I kind of want it to be like the regular kind of week in my life, kind of chilling here in New York City, doing stuff around the city, that kind of stuff, because that's what I genuinely like to do. The second video I've thought about, I have all of this makeup that I've got from these Jeffree Star boxes, and she's not that bad at makeup. She's also not that great at makeup, but we, we want to try and get better. The only way to get better is to keep trying. So I've thought about making another video each week of me attempting other YouTubers makeup tutorials, finding pictures on Pinterest and copying that. It's just to kind of have a second video to kind of put out there and just to kind of, again, see my progression and see if I do get better and just kind of, again, hold myself accountable to using all this stuff that I've bought over the past couple of years. Another thing with YouTube is I want to get a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. When I'm at home, it's pretty comfortable. It's lackadaisical. I'm myself. I'm me. I can be a little cuckoo crazy, but the second I step outside of my door and I have to have the camera out in the middle of the street, I immediately like clam up. I don't want to do it. I'm embarrassed. I feel like everyone's looking at me, but if you actually look around, there's not a lot of people looking at you, and if they do see you, they go, they got a camera, and that's it. That's it. So it's just kind of gaining that confidence and gaining that voice. Like recently I've noticed I am a little bit more confident in my voice when I speak. My first few videos, I know I spoke a little quietly. I wrote down everything I wanted to say. Now I just kind of go off script. Everything that I'm filming right now is off script. I wrote down what I want to talk about and then I'm going to talk about it and I'll edit it out if I don't like it. So my voice is getting a little better but I need to get better outside. So we're going to kind of push the limit this year with that. And just a small other thing that I want is something I have to purchase but I have to research which one I want is I want to get a camera like a secondary camera that's smaller. They have like these pocket cameras that are really small and you can like kind of not like hide them, but like they're just smaller and they're not as big as this thing taking it out into the world. I think that will help me get cooler shots outside and will help me like not be too embarrassed holding a camera. But when it comes to YouTube, I know they say you need to have a niche. You need to kind of have this thing that these people are always going to come to you for. I'm kind of against that. I don't want to get stuck in something that gets me a million views but it's something that i don't like to do so i'm just gonna kind of do my own thing uh like i said i'm gonna post weekly 
it's gonna mostly be on the same day but there may be times where it's a day off or a day before or a couple like right after a couple days apart from each other so that is it for the youtube sign um, i just kind of want to get that one out there because that's what you're watching me on so hi <laughs> um so the first one up on my like regular one is going to be balance right now i don't feel balanced and that is with like my job and my le like my work-life balance kind of thing i feel extremely stressed all the time regarding my job so I'm most likely going to be looking for a new one this year. Um, I've been kind of already peeking around and applying to a few places. It's just a little hard for me to get a new job because I don't have a college degree. So it's hard for me to even get an interview. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. But I definitely am looking for like a nine to five kind of situation because there's more balance. Right now I have to work weekends. Sometimes I have to work at like 4 a.m. Sometimes I have to work at like 12 p.m. So it's just kind of, there's no balance. And for a while here in New York, I didn't even feel like I lived in New York City because I was only thinking about going to work, getting to work, working, getting home from work, and like just relaxing at home that we like didn't even do a lot for a couple months. So I really want to get away from that. And I want to create more of a balance and going outside and exploring the city and exploring everything that the city has to offer. So I'm hopefully going to bring in more balance this year, being optimistic. Next on my list is going to be reading more this year. I have an obsession with buying books, but not reading them. I have a whole thing of books over here and I've only read one of them. One and I just I see these things every day and I just I want to attack them but then I go to like Barnes and Noble and I see more books and I buy more books and I don't read them they just sit here so I am going to do one book a month I feel like that's more achievable for me and the first book that I'm starting with is by Mark Manson and it's the subtle art of not giving a F I don't know if you can see that I take off the the sheet because I don't like I don't like the sheets I just like the hardcover <laughs> but I just want to kind of start out with a simple maybe it'll teach me to be a little bit more open and also be more confident in front of the camera so hopefully it'll kind of help me knock off two things on this resolution this year now the next one is kind of something that everyone says every year but it's like my own version of it and that's I want to get healthier. That part of being balanced is definitely going to help me get healthier. And by healthier, I mean eating healthier and being more aware of what I'm putting into my body and being active. Now, I work in retail, so I walk around all day at work every day. That's the only reason I've stayed in any kind of good condition that my body is in right now. I don't really gain weight. I don't really lose weight I kind of just stay in this like 10 pound teeter-tottering kind of thing but I want to get healthier I want to get toned up I've already started working out I found a program that I like but I will probably be talking about that in a later video when I kind of feel more comfortable talking about that but yeah I just want to just take care of myself like this is the only body that I have I need to take care of it treat it right okay the next Thing on my resolution list is going to be gaining more hobbies whether it's multiple hobbies or one hobby I'm not for sure yet I haven't decided but basically I just want to like not sit around the couch whenever I'm bored at home I want to be able to do something with my hands that doesn't go straight to my phone and going to social social media accounts or video games like I want another hobby like something else to do um, I do have a lot of clothing that I have that I love, but it needs to be either hemmed or it needs to be like taken in a little bit. So I want to kind of get back into sewing. My mom taught me the basics of sewing when I was young, so I can easily hem pants and hem a dress and like take it stuff in. I just haven't taken the time to do it. I literally have stuff that I've never worn in my closet that I'm like, this would be perfect only if it were shorter. So I'm just going to do it myself. Haven't done that to any of my pieces in my closet. So we need to do that. 
So I think I'm gonna start with that one before I even think about adding any other hobbies into the list because it's just kind of that tackling one thing at a time thing. If I feel like if I take on too many hobbies, I will give up on all of them. Hi, I moved the camera because the sun's coming in and causes shadow on one side of my face. So we moved it over here. But the last thing on my list is I'm going to FaceTime my family more. It's something I learned during COVID at the very beginning is my parents were supposed to come out and visit in Florida, but they had to cancel due to everything. And I realized how much I miss them, how much I really need to be around my family and how much I need to talk to them and be around them or just see them. So one thing I want to do is just FaceTime them like maybe starting every maybe every two weeks maybe do it once a week and just kind of chat and catch up because i feel like that will make me more like you kind of just get that like fullness feeling that you have these other people in the world who care about you you know they want to know what you're doing even if it's just the littlest thing when they care about that stuff it kind of like warms me so i know whenever i talk to them it just kind of fills me up with joy and happiness and it's something that I don't just want to do when I'm down or not feeling well it's just kind of something I should just do more often thinking about all of this stuff I really want to do like a six month checkup so probably end of June beginning of July that time I'm gonna do a check-in to make sure I'm doing some of these things that I said I'm gonna do just to hold myself accountable and see if these are the things that are bringing joy or happiness and and enlightening me to become maybe a better version of myself we'll see but until then i will see you all on the next one bye